Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Thanks for joining us as we head into the third movie of our 24-hour Alfred Hitchcock Marathon. Up next, from 1963, newcomer Tippi Hedren heads a cast that includes Rod Taylor, Suzanne Plachette, and Jessica Tandy in The Birds. The posters boldly announce Hedren's Hollywood arrival. She's featured screaming as she fights off attacking birds. And then at the end of the cast list, it reads, introducing Tippi Hedren with a glamour shot of her with a fascinating new personality written below. Now, you may be asking, why did we kick off a 24-hour marathon of Hitchcock movies on Thanksgiving? I believe I've uncovered the answer. Albert Hitchcock loved Thanksgiving. Actually, I have no idea if that's true, but there is a bit of evidence to support it. First, there's a great photo of Hitchcock grinning as he pokes his head out from behind his 1956 Thanksgiving turkey. But that is nothing in comparison to this. Hitchcock made an extended trailer for the birds where he addresses the camera. He called it a lecture. It is a great example of the wit and personality that audiences responded to on television when Hitchcock's show premiered in 1955. In the lecture slash trailer, Hitchcock takes us through the history of man's relationship with birds. He suggests it's been defined by centuries of respect. They're so fast, he says, that to shoot them, we had to invent the shotgun. And then he points out that, quoting now, we've honored our feathered friends in many ways. We cage birds and show them off proudly in most of our zoos. Then Hitch smiles knowingly at the camera and says, and the turkey is our traditional guest of honor at Thanksgiving. In The Birds, Tippi Hedren plays Melanie Daniels. She comes to Bodega Bay, a California coastal town, to see a handsome lawyer played by Rod Taylor. Not long after her arrival, flocks of birds enter the picture and turn the movie into a Hitchcock film. The Birds was Hitchcock's follow-up to his most successful film, Psycho, released three years earlier. Naturally, Hitchcock wanted to keep the hits coming, so turning over the lead role in The Birds to a newcomer was no small event. Hitchcock spotted Hedren in a diet drink commercial on the Today Show and thought she would be a perfect Hitchcock blonde. He was right, but because she was new to movies, he had to put her through multiple meetings and a screen test. She got the part. She says it came at a steep price. More on that after the movie. There is no doubt they made a great film together. Here it is from 1963, The Birds. It's become challenging to talk about the birds without discussing a Tippi Hedren says she was treated by Alfred Hitchcock. According to Hedren, and there is no reason at all not to believe her, Hitchcock engaged in the worst form of sexual harassment, most of it happening on their next picture, Marnie. She says Hitchcock made repeated advances, and when Hedren rejected him, he got angry, and he threatened to keep her from working, and he did. He had Hedren under contract, he wouldn't cast her, and he kept her from working on other movies. I think it's important to note that Hedren didn't have the power of previous Hitchcock leading ladies. Grace Kelly, Eva Marie Saint, Janet Lee, and Kim Novak were all established actors. Tippi Hedren was a 33-year-old single mother who Hitchcock picked from obscurity and turned into a star. Hedren says today that her relationship with Hitchcock was complicated, while the behavior she accuses him of is hideous, she's also grateful for the opportunity he gave her and for being, in her words, the best acting teacher she ever had. All right, up next, our 24-hour Hitchcock Marathon continues with a thriller that has the second most famous shower scene of all time. I don't think I have to tell you the first, that time on the TV show Dallas where Victoria Principal is in the shower and we learned that Patrick Duffy wasn't really dead, it was all just a dream. That, I mean, that's definitely number one. From 1960, Psycho is next, so stick around.